Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to replace the hard drive in an iMac. This is an older 2007 iMac. First, let's see what this computer has in it about this Mac. More info. Looks like it has a 3 gigabit link speed, SATA drive, 320 gigabits capacity, 7200 RPMs. Let's see what Western Digital has to offer. Looks like the Western Digital Black is a nice hard drive. It's got a 6 gigabit link speed, 2 terabyte capacity, 7200 RPMs. Let's get it on Amazon. And here in the description, it says it's great for photo and video editing. All right, let's get this hard drive. This is the two terabyte 7200 RPM drive. Before you get started, make sure you have two things. First, an external hard drive to back up all of your data. And you'll also need an operating system install disk. You will need a suction cup, T6, T8, Phillips, and flathead screwdrivers, and needle nose pliers. Attach the suction cup to the middle of the screen near the top. Pull outwards. It's attached with magnets. With the computer laying flat on a desk, screen facing up, tilt it up. Use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the screw and pull the cover from the bottom. Use your T8 Torx screwdriver to remove all the screws from around the LCD display. Gently pull outward on the case near the top, separating it from the back. Unplug the webcam connector at the top and pull the faceplate down to remove it from the computer. Pull the smaller display cable out from behind the fan and unplug it. Use your T6 screwdriver to remove the two screws from the video connector and unplug it. Use the T8 Torx screwdriver to remove the display mounting screws. Then gently pull it outward at the top. You'll find some high voltage backlight connectors. Go ahead and unplug them. It may be a good idea to label these so you can plug them back in the same place. There are two more connectors at the bottom of the display. Go ahead and unplug these as well. And pull the display up and away from the computer. Now is a good time to clean the computer. You can use compressed air, but use low pressure and be careful. Remove the thermal sensor from the hard drive. Push downward on the clip to unseat the hard drive and pull it up slightly. Unplug the SATA and power connectors from the hard drive. We will need to reuse the mounting hardware from the old hard drive. Use the T8 Torx screwdriver to remove the mounting pins from the bottom and the bracket from the top of the hard drive. This is the new Western Digital 2TB drive. Install the bracket on top of the drive and the mounting pins into the bottom of the drive using the Torx screwdriver. Reconnect power and SATA to the new drive. Push the pins into their holes and push gently onto the drive until it snaps into place. Attach the temperature sensor to the hard drive and feel free to add some tape so it doesn't fall off. Position the display for installation. Reconnect the high voltage backlight connectors. Carefully tuck the wire behind the cooling fan. With the display in place, plug in the main video connector. Use the T6 screwdriver to install the two video connector bolts. Use needle nose pliers to install the smaller wiring harness. And tuck it to the side of the fan. Use the T8 screwdriver to reinstall the display mounting screws. Reinstall the front cover starting at the bottom and tilting it in. Remember to plug in the webcam connector at the top. Gently tuck the wire out of the way so it does not get pinched. Close the case gently starting at the bottom and working your way back up. Make sure everything is aligned and flush. Then reinstall the screws for the case.
Use screen cleaner and a microfiber cloth to clean the display and the glass display cover. This needs to be perfect. Reinstall the glass display cover. It'll snap into place with magnets and clean the outside surface. Pull the bottom of the computer up. Use a Phillips screwdriver to install the lower cover. Now with everything back together, let's turn the computer on and here we have the install disk. Turn on the computer and run through the installation. The new hard drive is not the right format. So we need to go back, open Disk Utility, select the hard disk, click Erase. We're going to set it up as Mac OS. Name your hard drive and click Erase. Now we can continue with installation. Now with the operating system installation done, let's go to About This Mac, More Info, let's check out the new hard drive, and there it is, 2 terabytes, 7200 RPM, all done.